Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Grand Millstone and Shalom Tata Akim through the inner truth and sincerity. And uh, I just want to do this lesson um, inspired by a uh, live stream I watched earlier. All right. Um, from the, uh, the Bishop uh, Atazwan, uh, which is the, the bishop over uh, GMS Atlanta, all right, of which I'm a part of. Okay, and, and uh, just so you can see what the, um, uh, don't mind that, just so you can see what the, let me see here, let me find it, what the live stream was. All right, just so you can see, um, pretty much, uh, this title is now is not the time to fear the inevitable. All right, and I, I highly highly recommend watching this video. I highly recommend it. But th this is what inspired this lesson that I'm doing. Okay, and as um, you can see here, I'm, I got a few scriptures written down. Uh, whatever sh other scriptures come come to me through the Spirit, I'm gonna get that too. And Lord willing to be edifying. But uh, without further ado. Start off in the book of Second Timothy, chapter one. Let me get that real quick. Timothy one and wait, did I put one in? It? Oh no, one and seven. All right, Second Timothy one and seven it says, "For the Most High hath not given us the spirit of fear, the Most High." Which the name of, of uh, the Most High or the, the Heavenly Father, or as the world ignorantly calls him God, his true and proper name is Yahweh. Okay, that's that's how you say his name. He only has one name. All right, you can't translate someone's name. His name is Yahweh. That's his name in the ancient Hebrew, and the name of his only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai. Of whom we reverence and worship, okay? We show reverence and we worship Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. But let me read this again. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay? So, scriptures like this really pertain to the times that we're living in right now because this this damn devil all right the so-called white man all right this damn devil uh sloppy joe all right they're trying to push the spirit of fear and i was watching um i believe um the channel was am am tv if i'm not mistaken alternative news media something like that but he was pretty much saying like throughout his the history of this country no other uh, president has pushed the spirit of fear like th like the like the uh, forty six, all right. No other. When you look, go back in history. Every president pushed pushed the vibration of courage, and I'm I'm not and I'm not saying that I'm with with America, all right, because the heavenly Father is going to destroy America, according to biblical prophecy. But I'm just making a point. That, that, that shows you that this place is finished. That this devil is about to come down with great wrath. Because no other time in history has has the leader of this wicked, demonic country pushed the spirit of fear. Alright, this is the, the 46. is like the only per, the only uh, president to push the, the spirit of, of fear and panic and uncertainty. Alright, but the Lord had not given us that spirit. Alright. He gave us the spirit of power. And of love and of a sound mind. Power because we have this word. As it is written, I believe that's, uh, what is that, Hebrews 4? Uh, Hebrews 4 and 12, if I'm not mistaken. The, the word of the Lord is quick and powerful. Matter of fact, let me see, let me get that uh, just to see if I'm quoting it correctly. Uh, Hebrews, I believe it's 4 and 12. Yeah, Hebrews chapter 4. In verse 12, it says, For the word of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit 
and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So this word that we have, which Yahweh Shai is the word, that's why he's written in the volume of the book. These words of prophecy, this is the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And the Lord gave us this, this word, this wisdom and knowledge as a gift. This word is power. All right, there's power in this word. This is the most powerful book on the planet Earth, the Holy Bible. Because this whole world is crumbling based upon the words that are written in this book. That shows you how powerful this book is. This whole system is crumbling based upon the words that are written in this book. So that's why the Lord gave us this. He didn't give us the spirit of fear, but, but of power. Because this word is quick and powerful. And that's how we're, we're fighting against this damn devil, man. Because this is a spiritual war. As, is, as it is written in the book of Ephesians chapter 6. We're not fighting this devil with, with, with guns. We're not fighting him with, with mil military. Alright, we're not. That's, how, that's not how we're going to win this battle, alright? We're winning this battle through the spirit, alright? Through, through the words that are written in this book. Because we already won, alright? <laughs> it's already written that we win in the end. We come out victorious. All right, we just have to play out what's written. We just have to go through do Jacob's trouble and do the spirit of power. How about Shema Shah? We're gonna make it through it. All right, that's the mindset to have. That's the mindset to have. Not not the mindset of uncertainty. Not the mindset of of, of uh, wavering. But of course, we are in the flesh, though. All right, I have to mention that we are in the flesh, so. We are going to have our, our moments of uh, of having uh, doubt. All right. We, we have those, those moments. All right. I'm not, I'm not trying to act like. Um, and they the bishop even said it. The bishop and uh, the brother, uh, the officer, um, Karatiza, they mentioned that in the lesson. That we're not just trying to act like, oh, we're just the, the biggest and baddest uh, guys. We don't. I ain't scared of nothing. I never get scared. Like, nah, we're we're in the flesh. That we have those those weak moments because we're in this weak flesh. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we strive to, to walk at, in the spirit, all right, and not after the flesh. But going back, uh, let me get that uh, first. Uh, Salaki, Second Timothy. Let me go back to that. Second Timothy chapter one and seven for the most high have not given us the spirit of fear. And that's why that's how we're able to continuously go out on the highways and byways week in and week out. That's how we're able to, to teach this word. We don't we're not scared of you damn devils, man, because it, it, you devils are about to um, uh, like it says in Revelation 12 and 12, you're about to come down with great wrath. You're about to try to uh, demonize us in the media. You're going to put us on the news all oh. These black Hebrew Israelites. All right. We, we know what you devils are, are, are going to do. All right. We already know it. You're going to demonize us. You're going to make the whole world hate us. But that's not going to stop the truth, man. <laughs> the prophecies are still going to come to pass. America's still going to be destroyed. Before America's destroyed, they're going to implement the RFID microchip, which is the MOTB. Okay. Prophecy is going to be fulfilled regardless, all right? So at the end of the day, we shouldn't be uh, going back to, to the bishop's lesson. Uh, don't, don't, why would we fear the inevitable? It's going to happen regardless, all right? <laughs> just, just go along with, with the, uh, on the ride. Go along for the ride. All right, but let me see uh, next scripture. Joshua... The first chapter and I'll start at I'll start at verse seven. Joshua one and seven. It says, Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from from the, to the right hand or to the left. That thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. So, this is a commandment 
and it's gonna go into that when when I continue reading. But it says, "Only be thou strong and very courageous," because at this time, uh, Israel that they, they were getting ready, that they, they were going to war, at the time that this was written, and right now we're in a time of war. Okay, because as it says in the Ecclesiastes, there's a time for everything under the sun. And right now we're in a time of evil. We're in a time of war. We're in a time of destruction. Because we're living at the end of the devil's uh, wicked rulership on the planet Earth. The transition between uh, this wicked kingdom and the kingdom of heaven. That's where we're living at right now. So now more than ever, we have to be courageous. Speaking for myself, first and foremost, we all have to be courageous, especially in the times that we're coming into. Verse 8, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. And that's that's what we strive to do, man, All right, doing these videos, or reading, because Pursuant to Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge is going to be the thing that gets us through these evil times. All right, the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim al that's what's going to get us through these these dark times, man, because it's about to be a very dark and evil time. It's It already is, but it's about to intensify to a, a level that the world has never seen. All right, Jeremiah 30 and 7, Daniel 12 and 1. All right, Matthew, the 24th chapter. The the evil and darkness is about to be overwhelming, but it's not going to overwhelm us because the Lord is on our side. All right. Matter of fact, I just thought of a, a quick scripture. The Lord is on our side. Uh, What is that? Uh, I think Psalms 118. Let me see. Yep, Psalms 118, and I started at 4, it says, Let them now that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, say that his mercy endureth forever. Because we are, we are supposed to only fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's, that's it. That's who we fear. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they control life and death. The Heavenly Father and His Son, they control life and death. This damn devil, this so-called white man, he doesn't, he can't do, he can't do shit, man. He could just threaten you. All right, that's all, that's all this devil does. His fear tactics and his media try to try to put that that spirit, that demon of doubt in you. All right, try to make you uh, be uncertain. All right, we have to have the spirit that the Lord is in control. At the end of the day, I'm gonna be all right because the Lord's on my side. And that's what that's what King David's about to say. It says, uh, verse five, I called upon the Lord in distress, and the Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Right? So the Lord is on our side, man. Why why should be we be afraid when the, the creator of the earth, the creator of the heavens and the earth is on our side? He created this damn devil. He's controlling this devil. Why would we, we be scared if our power is controlling this devil? All right? At the end of the day, man, we're going to be all right. All right? It says, verse 7, The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. So we're going to see our desire on our enemy. All these, all these uh, decrepit, Devils, we're gonna see our desire upon them, all right. We're gonna see their downfall. We're gonna see them. We're gonna see their destruction. And it's I forget what scripture that says. I believe it's in uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, where it says uh, one of the best joys is to to, to live to see the, the the fall of your enemy. And we're gonna live to see the fall of our enemy, man. Best believe that. We're already seeing it, but we're actually going to see them when they're actually completely destroyed. Just like the Lord destroyed Egypt. We're going to see the destruction of our enemies. Best believe that. It says, 
it is better to trust in the Lord than to pick confidence in man. Right? Because what is what is putting your confidence in man get you? Blood clots. Alright? <laughs> your lifespan cut in half, really lower than that. Death. That's what that's what trusting that's what putting confidence in man gets you. Death. A painful death. And ultimately those nuclear missiles is gonna destroy you if you put your confidence in man. But it says it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Verse 9, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations could pass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They can pass me about, yea, they can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They can pass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns, for in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. All right, so the Lord is going to give us power over our enemies, man. Jeremiah 16 to 16. Okay, but going back to uh, Joshua, the first chapter, let me get back to that. Uh, let me see where I was at. Uh, it says, I'll read verse 8 again. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. That thou mayest observe to do uh that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. And at the end of the day, man, we're gonna we're gonna succeed in our mission. Alright, just just like our Lord Yahweh Shai, which he's the greatest conqueror on the planet Earth. All right, everyone uh, likes to talk about Alexander the Great. Everyone likes to talk about, uh, 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 let me think of another example. Uh, they talk about uh, King Leonidas. They talk about, uh, you know, uh, 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 Ptolemy. You know, all these different, con uh, uh, Genghis Khan. They like to talk about all these conquerors, but our Lord Yahweh Shai is the greatest conqueror in the history of the planet Earth. And we will succeed because he's on our side. We can't lose. Alright. Verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord, thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. So the Lord is with us, man. There's angels around us all the time. It says in Psalms 34 and 7, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So we have to have faith that the angels are always around us because they are. All right, that's just something uh, to remember. All right, whenever, if ever you're in a time of trouble, just remember that the angels are around you. If you sincerely believe, the angels are around you and they're protecting you. They're not going to allow the elect to be destroyed. All right, and I'm going to get Isaiah 41, and that's going to be it. Uh, Isaiah 41. And in verse 8, it says, But thou, Israel, my servant, that shows you right there, that's a cut to you wacky tacky Christians, all right? It's all about Israel. Israel is a chosen people. All right, Israel, as is as is written in uh, Psalms one forty seven, the saints are the Israelites. Man, he showed his word unto Jacob, his his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. So it's only about the Israelites. All right, this is only for the Israelites. Okay, the Bible is all about the Israelites. Salvation is for the Israelites. All right, I just had to throw that in there. But let me read that again. Isaiah forty-one and eight. But thou Israel, my. But thou Israel art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Abraham was the friend of the heavenly Father. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. 
Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So we, <laughs> the Lord is going to uphold us with the right hand of his righteousness, which is Yahweh Shai, our Lord. So we have no, no reason to fear this damn devil, man, because this devil is about to be destroyed. All right, we're on the winning team. Verse 11, behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. So all our enemies that fight against us, that seek to destroy us, the Lord's going to destroy all of them. All right. Verse 12, thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. So the ones that, that wage war against us, because this devil, every day this devil wages war against us. Every day this devil chemtrails. Chemtrails are a declaration of war. All right? This beetle juice that everyone's taking, all right? The, 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 the devil juice. That's, that's a declaration of war. The fact that they're trying to make everyone take that, that juice. That's a declaration of war. But it says, They that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So the Lord is straight up telling us he's going to help us, man. All right. So we should just be in the spirit of being calm, cool and collected, especially in the face of uh, in the face of, uh, of adversity, man, in the face of, of trouble, in the face of everyone else around us bugging out and losing their mind. We should be in the spirit of staying calm, cool and collected. All right, because the Lord's going to guide us. He's going to lead us. Uh, as it is written in Proverbs, it says, "In all thy ways acknowledge, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path." Verse fifteen: Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, and the mountains represent governments. It says, "Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff." Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. Which the whirlwind, that's going into the chariots, all right? What the world ignorantly calls UFOs, which are really the vehicles of the angels. It says, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Ashad, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. All right, so that's pretty much the point of this lesson. Lord willing, it was edifying to the elect. I want to end off by giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechai, Double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone, and shalom to the elect.